All right, we got four games left, fellas. Two of those games, don't nobody give a fuck about them. This is going ahead and get them out the way. Giants in Atlanta. I'm rolling with the Giants. Giants. I'm taking the Falcons at home. Okay. Next, Seattle, New Orleans. Seattle. Seattle. Where's the game being played? Seattle. <laughs> I'm still going to take New Orleans. All right. <laughs> nice coffee in Seattle. You said it yourself. All right, yeah. now, two games that they will fill about. First of all, let, let's let's get down to the one that's sitting right here. Mr. Rue, Chargers fan for life. My man Al. Silver Black over. Dog. Now, since I, I can be the mediator in this, let me take the first strikes out before I let top two go at it. It ain't going to take long. Um, Raiders have really played well. I think if uh, Shanahan wouldn't have put the hex on, on the kicker, you guys would probably be looking at a three and one or four and four and one. You guys would what? Get two and two? Yeah. You could possibly be three and one. And then if, if Lamont Jordan doesn't miss that block against Detroit and Cowan fumbles, you're probably four and oh. On the other side, I look at y'all and I say to myself, okay, he stumbled out the gate. You know, part of that is because of I think uh, the defensive coaching and a little bit of that maybe offensive play calling. And quarterback, uh, the player quarterback, but a lot of it I think is defensive fuck up. I feel like if uh, uh, it was more aggressive defensive play, uh, uh, Brett Favre doesn't hit that quick slant for a long touchdown. Uh, better defensive play calling, uh, Debo for the Chiefs doesn't hit a quick slant for a touchdown. Y'all possibly would be uh, four, uh, four and one. Y'all two and three, right? Yes. Yeah. So y'all could possibly be four and one. Y'all could be 4 0. So, but that, that's all what ifs and all that. That's why this right here is just as big a matchup almost as the other one we're going to talk about. Uh, who wants to go first? <laughs> I'm telling like Bernie Mac. I'm going to about them damn talkers. <laughs> Tell them right now. We had Noah Turner last year. See what he did to him. We over there, fucking around. Noah Turner, we in first place. I'm going to get there. Seven black. That ass, all back at me. You know what I'm saying? I know we gotta make this interesting for the sake of the, the internet and film and all bit. This is not even a real question, uh, the Raiders and Chargers. Uh, the Chargers had a good practice last week against Denver, and you saw what happened to this record. <laughs> we have another scrimmage schedule against Oakland. Wherever they play, it doesn't make a difference. We own the Raiders. <laughs> Oh, my <laughs> We talk about recent. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about the 70s. Rue got Ebola. He got Ebola. He and got I Ebola. Keep it. Uh, keep it. If that means a victory. <laughs> I'm going to help the Raiders out. Run the ball, less passes, less turnovers, and you may have a remote chance of beating us. Realistically, you don't have a chance. As far as the North Turner, how can you do something with Oakland when you don't have no ingredients to work with? He has ingredients to work with in San Diego. Just don't fuck it up. What the hell y'all been cooking up lately, bro? Hey, just don't fuck it up. And it's not really North Turner, Ted Contrell. Don't fuck it up. Let these boys off the chain, and we'll get to where we need to go, which is the Super Bowl. Look, we had a bye. We rested. We competing. San Diego's still trying to find their personality. They lost their swag a little bit. We gonna be in the mix. I right, mean, let's move on. We talk about this. Be careful time. what you wish for. That's it. So wish to be dead ass. <laughs> so obviously, it's Chargers, it's Raiders. Me, wow, man, that's a tough one, man. Don't, don't even answer, dog. All right, it's in the middle like money. <laughs> he in the middle. He's Mark. trying to be politically correct. <laughs> answer the damn question, Mark. I'm on the fence, Quit dog. Bullshitting. Quit bullshitting. That's the question. All right, fuck it, man. I, I, I think the Chargers. <laughs> <won't>. <laughs> I'm caught up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. See, this is why I feel it this way. Because uh, usually y'all split. Yeah. Usually they take one at two house, you take one at three house. That's usually the way it goes. Or vice versa. But the point being, I think. This round is gonna go to charges, and then it's gonna come back, and then y'all gonna nail him at your house. Right, That's why I see it. That's why he's my boy. That's why I see it. That's a politically correct bullshit. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna have a good practice. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm going to have a good practice against Oklahoma. <laughs> now, cool. the game, the marquee game, ah, the thriller, yeah. vanilla, yeah. The, the, the whatever you want to call it. This is it. New England at Dallas. Oh, it, who who want to go first? On the real, let me tell y'all something. Dallas gonna play a real team now. Y'all out there popping your pom poms and Tony Romo and all this other stuff. Let's see what y'all do against the real team. I got New England kicking ass, taking names. Period. Point blank. I'm gonna tell you why I got Dallas. Wade Phillips knows how to beat New England. I didn't say Romeo Cornell. Wade Phillips knows how to beat New England. Write it down, break it down, crumble it, roll it up. Gut the blunt and smoke it. It's time. Wade Phillips know how to beat New England. He was high. And I ain't going to say nothing else. He high. I ain't going to say nothing else. We won't. Watch. Dallas got a better running game. Dallas, if Romo don't get out there trying to be like Brett Favre and fuck shit up, you gave him five turnovers with New England. But if you play your cards right and don't get into no T.O. Randy Moss match, Dallas going to get in New England back. If they struggle against Buffalo on Monday night, and they defense carried them to win a game. New England, half of a good New England, was tapped Dallas at. They didn't give a shit about Period. Buffalo. They didn't even care about Buffalo. Buffalo didn't even matter. That's why they was ass beat. All right, we're going to see. Good points on both sides. <clears throat> I honestly think uh, when it comes to Bill Belichick, they talk about his genius and all that shit. Too. But his genius is in his simplicity. Right. He'll come out and go, okay. Y'all team to stop the run? Then I put five fucking wide receivers out there and I won't even try it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, your team with a good secondary? Okay. I put them five receivers out there and let y'all think I'm a matchup with y'all one-on-one. -on -one. And I run draws and counters. For Dallas to win this game, they have to have that secondary at full strength. And I don't think their secondary is at full strength. I feel like uh, my man of safety, Roy Williams, he is a major liability. I think we all agree. The man ain't got too much in the way of wheels. He just gambles. He gambles and he gambles because his coverage is kind of suspect. Right. And then he does that thing. Bulls, he will not let go of that horse collar tackle. You know, it's just a yeah. bullshit. You know. And, and I just think in the end, uh, I mean, he was a well oiled machine. They mad still. And it's just too many weapons. You know. How you gonna go against the army with a handgun? As LL put it when he was talking about Ice T. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I see. You know, the Cowboys is like a Magnum, you know, and New England is like an army. Who does the Cowboys play? Oh yeah. And, you know, and they play what? Chicago, Philly, and uh, uh Buffalo. And uh I can't remember who they played uh first game, but I mean those are teams that were all uh, those teams are struggling. Yeah, they're gonna play a real team. So we'll see. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna get a nice cool and they're gonna get a real ass tap. You know? All that being said, you still got Seal, Brewski, uh, 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 what's your boy's name? I can't remember. Harrison. Yeah, Rodney Harrison. Rodney yeah. Harrison. Yeah. You know, the defense is still solid. But when you look on the Cowboys side, and this is the main reason why I'm, I'm just don't see him doing it. Anthony Henry. He's one of the you know, better corners. He's out. Now they got the other boy, Newman, right? He's good. He's good. And then they got the cat they got from Seattle. Uh, Hammer. He's good. Yeah, Hammer. But, but that's all they got. But, you know, it's just too many weapons, dog. It's too many weapons. You know, in order for them to win, they got to play above themselves. Yeah, they got to play like it's the Super Bowl and, on Monday night. And... I feel no matter what, I don't care how much they try to push this motherfucker to start him. He threw five motherfucking picks against Buffalo. Against Buffalo. And remember, it would have been sick if that motherfucker on Buffalo would have dropped it. And they would have lost. Roll on. Roll on. Yeah, well, that would have been six picks and they would have lost. And that would have been Brom on the spot. So I'm rolling with New England. Yeah. So that's our pick. So, Dallas. Dallas. Patriots. 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 That's our picks, y'all. We'll hop. Peace. I want to say this. Boy, you mentioned LL. What's up, Cut Creator? I was chopping with my man Cut Creator yeah. out in the Highlands a couple of weeks ago. Still doing this thing. 